right, so what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of trying to show you that the ground is kind of a little froze in some areas. It's actually kind of solid, but anyway, it's 32 degrees. And uh, I, mean, I guess this is probably the best way. I can put my hand right in here on the exhaust. See? Nice and nice and cold. No block heater, no nothing. Uh, it's been kind of a continuous 32 degrees. All right. I just wanted to do a cold start on on this so you guys could see what these are like when they're cold start I mean like I said this is just freezing you can see here we are at uh, almost 180 hours so I'm gonna hold one two three four five Alright, so I, I was picking my bucket up to move it out of the way, and I noticed that there's dirt froze to the forks right here. I thought I'd throw that in as far as the cold start thing's considered. But uh, it's been running now a couple minutes. Get this bucket moved back here. Trying to get some stuff moved out of the way, make it look a little nicer out front here. pretty warmed up um, just kind of wanted to do a, a cold start video I probably haven't started this in about a week and we've had I would say it's probably not been any more than like 37 38 is a high 40 degrees maybe and it does dip down right into freezing which is around 52 degrees here so that was a quick cold start video should I let it warm up a couple minutes more probably yes but I wasn't asking a lot of the tractor. I just kind of idled back out of the shop there where I was storing it and picked up a skid. And I didn't even, it didn't even seem like it was hesitating on the tractor. So, I mean, that's pretty good. 180 hours, um, cold start after sitting for at least a week in cold weather, right off the glow plugs. Wonderful machine. There you go.